Alrighty, everybody. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for some absolutely crazy Sharenga sniping stuff. I can't wait to see if we can rival the firepower. Well, actually, we should be higher than the Almink, right? Let's find out. Woo! A few seconds. Alrighty. So, starting recording. And why the volume is too loud. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the next live stream here in Warobots. You can see we have a Sharenga Titan ready uh, with some amazing gendarme. Okay, we have gendarme antimatter reactor, so plenty of firepower on this thing. Uh, and uh, the rest has stayed a little the same except for these two I've uh, the different uh, weapon setups here on it So we have ember we have a uh, crib uh, redeemer, right? So that's something I've done right here, but other than that uh, This is what I want to test with you guys right here. So let's jump into the game uh, But before we go uh, here's something I want to tell you uh, Something tomorrow is gonna be a video coming up where you can get new t-shirts. Okay, so let me just uh so, Warobots t-shirts are going to be for sale, I think for the first time ever. Um, it's gonna be special because it requires a certain timing, it's only gonna be available for 24 hours. That is one of them, right? I'm, I'm wearing them, I got them sent by Pixonic. Tomorrow's video will explain to you how you can get them, okay? And that, that they all have blank black on the back. Uh, they then there is one with a griffin, like this, okay? And then there is this one with a regular Warobots logo, so those are the three t-shirts you can get. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Uh, for more information about, uh, you know, how you can get them, okay? So for now, I want to check out, um, you know, some uh, some gameplay here. Starting with the Orochi, with some um, some redeemers, and go for it, okay? Let's go. Let's have some fun. We are already getting shot at by a leech with, I think, Ballista uh, and Dragoons. Okay, so let's help out our friend right here. This is a Ravana who's ne who needs some help. Okay, I'm uh, trying to, t to finish out this guy first. Unfortunately, though, I'm pretty sure that the guy will be able to respawn behind me. Yep, there he is. But uh, thankfully... Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, oh, this is gonna be bad. Yep, lost a lot of health here. Um, trying to drop him down. I cannot move. I can still not move. I should be able to move. I was not able to move the entire time, not. I was locked and then I was unable to move and I had this lock, this, this bug where, uh, where the robot just decides not to be able to move anymore. I don't know why this happens still, but uh, I'm trying to come in to help out this guy right here before, the, uh, the, before this guy succeeds. Okay, let's go in and uh, delete him real quick. Boom, there we go. And now I think I should have to have this under control here. This guy shouldn't really be having much of a chance. We should get that beacon. This Fenrir of ours really did a great job. Boom, says the shell. All right, so now we also did our own shell here uh, and turned this around a little. Uh, let's see if we can also help out here in the center. The enemy shell got me pretty good and I don't know why this still happens, but there is a bug in the, in the game when it comes to the Orochi where somehow you're unable to uh, to hit and to walk anymore. I don't know if this is also a thing on mobile. Does this also exist on mobile, this problem? Because it does exist for me. And uh, yeah, it is quite an annoying, annoying thing. You think you can kill me here? Oh, you, you can actually. Okay, you can. Because you have the ability there running. Uh, but... Um, that should be it for you now. Jumping up to get him here. Brrr, all built-in weapons firing. Nice. <laughs> that is some action. And yes, uh, the, the stream chat is open for everyone from the beginning right now. I want to explore a few other things and see how they work, right? See how this impacts the stream. Um, 
because I did notice quite a bit of a, a difference there between the streams back in the days and the one now. And I want to check out if uh, if it maybe has something to do with um, with the stream chat being uh, restricted, pretty much. Uh, we have a Ravana here coming up, and that's going to be a problem. This guy is going to be able to uh, phase right through all my weapons, but I'm not alone, and that's a good thing. I want that overdrive to activate, so... Um, pretty sure he's still on me. Yeah, he's, he's coming for me, man. But, but thankfully, we have so much stuff on us that uh, I don't really have to worry about this at all. Can I walk up here? Hold on. Uh, jump. Okay, one jump. We have to wait 18 seconds for the next one to come in. And there have been donations that I have to read. Also, one from last week. Uh, Dark Lykia. Dark Lykia made a $12 donation at the end of last livestream. And I forgot, or no, I didn't forget it. Uh, he or she made the donation right when I was ending the stream. I didn't have an opportunity to say thank you for this. Sir so Dark Lykia, uh, thank you for that right now. Uh, let me just enjoy this here. Uh, and then we're going to read uh, the messages in the stream. Uh, and see what happens there. Also, uh, Mirox has told me that I should be reading stream messages a little bit more often. Let's bring up the added firepower there with built-in weapons and overdrive and everything. Let's go for it. Uh, and he's getting locked again. I think he is. Yeah, and he's almost dead now. Nice. Good lordy. We're doing quite some damage there. Look at that guy. He gets locked as well. Bam, 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 bam. What is he gonna do? Nothing. He goes down. <laughs> quite literally. So, um, we haven't yet run the Sharenga, but I will now. As soon as I get the chance, I, as soon as I die, rather. Um, I'll be jumping into the Sharenga uh, with the new sniper weapons. Okay. Okay, okay. Would you be so kind to strengthen my shield? That is very kind of you, sir. Oh, that was smart. That was smart. He, uh, he disabled my weapons. And, uh, and made it impossible for me to really get him. I'm waiting for him to use his firepower there, but now I got destroyed. Now, this is a problem, though. I should really not be jumping into this guy right in front of me with the sniper weapons. I'm not going to do this. I'm going in with that. Because this is something better. This is better than running in with a sniper Sharenga. The sniper Sharenga wouldn't really stand a chance against, uh, against these shotguns here. So, sorry guys, I had to I had to sh uh, switch to a different robot, otherwise we would have lost the beacon here. I had no other choice. Um, trying to deal some damage to the Typhon there. And man, are those flamethrowers de dealing damage. Jeez! Oh, I see a victim. I see an Arthur. And I know what Arthurs really hate. They hate flamethrowers. So let's go and give him just that. Give him flamethrowers in the face. No, actually, giving him a little buck, uh, back m rub right there. A little back massage with the flamers. Then suppressing him, right? Doing tremendous amount of damage to this guy. He's still suppressed. He's getting really mad at this point. And I'm dodging all his firepower. He's getting hit from behind now from our Minos, I think. I'm suppressing the guy again. He can't deal any damage, and this little Brits robot is just completely annihilating him. And sorry, it seems like we're not actually using the sniper Sharenga now. Uh, because, yeah, um... Yeah, this isn't... Okay, uh, the, the problem is, I wanted to spawn him, but then I had a shotgun Sharenga in front of me. Uh, so that was a bit of a problem there. Um, so, uh, Morris, Strokes Gaming, Warobots. Uh, hey, my man, uh, have my snacks ready. That's good to hear. Uh, Mr. Lurk with the two euros, uh, W, no, wait, W2X Games, sorry. Um, WTX Games, uh, defined, uh, define the snacks, wie ich mein Steak. What? Define the snacks, wie ich mein Steak. Okay, I, I snack them like you do your steak. Okay, I get it. Uh, Ignite Walker with a $20 super chat. Boom! Ever since I joined the channel and watched you play, I've learned so much. I've enjoyed the game even more than ever. So I thank you for making War Robots community bigger and for having an impact in my life. Love your work. Ignite Walker, man, this is such a kind feedback from you here. I really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we have a Mana Khan, also with an AG uh, Silver membership. Uh, so that is cool. And uh, other than that, Mirak said I should, ev after every match, I should take a look in the stream chat for a second uh, and uh, and see what people are writing. Can you do a video on one-on-one -on -one with you and Adrian or maybe play a match with even, uh, that was an Ethan Chang. Um, uh, Adrian is uh, on iOS as far as I know, but 
I also think he does have an Android account or something. We haven't yet looked into this, but I mean, it is a possibility, but I uh, haven't done it yet. I can't really say any uh, much more, but uh, maybe. I mean, it's possible. Uh, why can't I join a membership? Uh, the member, and he wrote membership as S-H-I-P. That is awesome, man. A membership. Yeah, join, join. Come on board the membership, dude. That's awesome. AQ Gamer. I don't know. If you're on Android, it gets a little bit difficult. Uh, uh, no, uh, iOS. Joining is a little more difficult from what I can uh, from what I gather. I think it's more Easy to do on uh, on Android, but it should also work on iOS So yes, Aries Sketter, you really have to work to squishy bot in that in that range uh, Yeah, um, the the Aries is an awesome robot here. Uh, who, who said that? Uh that was a QB12 War Robot San Diego. Um, the, uh, the the Ares is a really really squishy robot nowadays. It used to be the most one of the most overpowered things in the game, uh, but right now it is uh, it is rather balanced and actually quite tricky to play sometimes. Here we have a Demeter, who is just doing the old uh, shift around. Um, now he's bringing up that shield. I mean that was pretty expectable or expected. He's protecting two shells right now, or no, wait, one shell, and I don't know how much he's protecting at this point. Where is he? There, there, there he is. Okay, got him. Got him in, in sight. Okay, I dropped his last stand, that's good. I'm bringing up the added weapons now, firing into him at everything we've got at this point to delete him real fast, and that worked really well. We have a Blitz robot coming in. And, uh, okay, an Aochun from behind. The Aochun isn't really doing a lot of damage, and thankfully he can't capture the beacon either. I'm taking damage from the sides now, from this guy here coming in. Uh, he's probably gonna kill me in a matter of seconds now, because, uh, yeah, um, I'm trying to, uh, to walk away from him. I got him locked, so maybe I, maybe I have a chance to survive. Maybe I will yet survive with the squishy Ares. Bum, 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 bum. Thanks to the 39er who came in and defended me. 39er, Fluffy, N-O-R, you are amazing, sir. And ladies and gents, tell me if you what you think about playing uh, after every match, doing a, like a one minute or so, uh, doing a bit of a stream chat reading, right? What, you, what do you think about this, guys? Um, it distracts maybe a little bit from the gameplay, but at the same time, it is a live stream and you guys like to, uh, to have me uh, with you, right? So uh, yeah, I'm trying to make this happen. Bringing up the shield now. He's gonna come in one last time. That's his last ability now. Okay, the, but the shield is protecting him still. And uh, there you go, buddy. Yeah. Ice bringer. Yeah. Yeah, that is it for you, man. Oh, he wants me so much. Oh, he wants me so much. Oh, I'm, I feel so bad for you, buddy, that you didn't get me all this time. Uh, the Titan isn't quite ready yet, but we're gonna jump into it just in a matter of sec seconds. Let me jump up here. That look, looks like a good spot to hit this dude right now. Overdrive is running, so we are able to do a lot of damage here. I think I got him locked. No, I didn't get him locked, but firepower is coming in. Extra weapon firepower. Everything goes into my friend. Dang it. I wanted to hit the, the shell right there, but I couldn't because everything was blocked by this guy. I wonder, can I bring the Ares up here? Hold on. I'll, tr I'll try. I'll try my best. Uh, no, actually, it's not going to work. It's not gonna work because we already have the Orochi coming in. Okay. All right, he's not on me right now. He's not on me. But he's gonna have his both abilities used now, and that's it. Bam! Nice! So, Titan time, okay? Let's jump into our Sharenga and see what we can do from here. 600 meters range with the sniper weapons. That's gonna be good. Bam, 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 bam. We should be break. Oh, ah, that's right. Shell robots are immune from this. Shell robots cannot be hit. All the damage goes into nowhere when you're hit attacking a shell because the game is still broken and they still haven't fixed the targeting issue or the hitbox issue from the shell. The shell robot clearly has a hitbox issue that should be sorted out, but uh, it, it just takes Pixonic forever to do this. I don't understand why this seems to be such, a, such an important problem to deal with. But at this point, not dealing it seems like a balancing idea. It's like, okay, well, the shell should be as overpowered as it can possibly be right now, so let's let's not fix the, uh, the uh, hitbox problem, and let's let it roam around for free, not being able to get hit by Sharenga striker weapons, Sharenga gendarme, shotgun, uh, shock trains, many other weapons as well that just simply can't hit and can't deal damage to uh, the shell robot. Um, very, very... Actually, a very, very sad thing to see. Pixonic, you should be able to easily take care of this. 
Um, you should be able to easily fix this problem, but um, yeah, unfortunately it's not happening. There is another one. Sometimes you can hit them, but most of the time you, you're, you can't. See here? I'm shooting right through the guy. I'm shooting right through the guy, and this is really frustrating and uh, very, very, uh, yo, annoying. Okay, this guy's last stand is now released. He's gonna start his flight now. That's cool. I'm waiting for the last stand to drop, then I'm activating this. And then, once he's starting to drop down, I'm going to be uh, killing him here. Yeah, he somehow survives it, because why not? Can I hit the Loki here in stealth? I'm okay. He just captured the beacon, but I don't want to babysit that beacon and be the only person taking care of it. Um, yeah, it seems like we're not really able to do much from here right now. Capturing the beacon back, okay. Uh, uh, wow, taking that beacon took a little while. All right, we're hitting that guy pretty well. Ooh, yeah, he is taking some nice damage from those three heavy weapons. And that is it already. Wow. We need a sniper map. I really think we need a sniper map to make great use of the Sharenga with Gendarme. Um, but for now, uh, uh, no, Nitik uh, Aswa with 20 uh, Indian rupees. Thanks, man. And uh, yeah, not a bad match. Uh, we have uh, we had two teams uh, in both sides with two players. That is awesome Those are really nice matches when you have like people in both teams um, And the same amount of squads uh, Hello Poland from Polovor Morkwu. Uh, yeah, hello Poland um, I love you from Bano Forok. Uh, hey, man. Thanks uh, Phoenix YouTube with uh, I want to play a killer uh, do the Ao Ming, but I, if you want uh, to be more support class healer, run the Nodens. That's true. The Nodens is the healer uh, in the support character. The uh, the Ao Ming is the, the sniper, and uh, the Sharenga is also a sniper. Uh, but it can be a brawler as well. Hey, Manny, is the shell uh, and glacier rhyme? Hey, Manny, is the shell and glacier rhyme? Whoa, the stream chat just goes nuts now that people know I'm reading. More is striking. I don't know what... Uh, who said that? What is that? What does that mean? Is it mine? You mean is it good? Uh, it's it's okay. I would I would not run Gr rhyme and cryo right now in glacier. I think that the firepower is not good enough. Uh, maybe calamities. Uh, make a video about calamities. I could do one. Maybe on the Aochun. You know, there's plenty of opportunity to run Aochuns now that Orochis are entering the game. Sharanga top OP. Well, not really in the sa in the state we were running it right now. I think in this state it was quite okay. Let's do one or two more comments. Hello, money from War Robots. Uh, well, <laughs> hi. Uh, and then uh, big fan. Love your videos from. Uh, bu -bu -bu from oh, oh, uh, Kar Karkik Gaming. Uh, hey man, thank you. Appreciate it, buddy. Let's go with a flamethrower on the Orochi this time and see what we can do, okay? And then next, after the next match, I'm trying again to uh, uh, to be more reading uh, stream, stream uh, messages. So what do we have here? Okay, we have uh, purple shields already coming up. Not really a surprise. Uh oh, we have a shell. The shell hit me with the explosion, which is actually good. Now that, that means my overdrive is now activated. Oh, now it's deactivated again. Oh, I need to get hit by his explosion one more time. Can you hit me again one more time with the explosion, please? Yep, there it is. Nice. Thank you, guys. That's all everything I wanted. And now I'm just trying to deal damage as much as I can. But of course, the shield's popping up every two seconds, making it literally impossible to just kill these things and uh, deal, deal effective damage to them. Um, yeah. Here comes this guy's shield, then there comes this guy's shield, and then there comes this guy's shield again right after, and you'll, you'll find yourself in a spot where at no given time are you actually able to kill these things. Look, they're still both on there, and I have the perfect weapon set up to ignore uh, their firepower, uh, but I can't actually do this uh, because, yeah, turns out that these guys uh, have overlapping shields every two seconds or so. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. These shields are way too often, Pixonic. Way too often. They should be taking at least 10 seconds between every activation. Maybe 15 seconds. So they shouldn't be able to come up every few seconds like this. That is absolute nonsense, in my opinion. This is a real... Look, look at this. You cannot deal damage to anybody. Okay, in this case, I gotta admit, this guy has a legitimate shield. He's got a claim. A legitimate claim to that shielding. 
Uh, but uh, most other people who were uh, shielded just then didn't. And rups, nice, got him. All right, so we're working on that Titan. It's gonna come up soon. It's the same map again, not really a sniper map. Um, setups with uh, with uh, Pantheon robots are actually interesting now because uh, it means that they can have these shields and then the other shields in between the shield and then they bring their own shields back up, right? So it like all the time now they're shielded. Okay, what do we have here? Is this a uh, oh? It's a bulwark. It's a bulwark. Let me fire empty the uh, the weapons. I have two stealths ready. I'm gonna delete that bulwark. Okay, I have to run now because I have a sh uh, scorpion behind me. Let's delete this guy. And of course he brings up a shield. What a surprise. Let's end him before he gets another shield. Actually, that's not gonna happen here. And I got a lag death, lag death. But no matter, we got our Titan. And the music is awesome too, bam, bam, bam. Whatever I'm hitting over there in the distance, it's dead now. Bam, 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 this guy is falling. And the lags are really out of control again. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, we're working down this this guy pretty well. All four of us. Okay, I can't really kill him because he's got that Arthur shield. And this is one of the reasons why uh, why this setup is not necessarily the best one. Um, it's okay, but it's it's not going to be the best setup. Oh, thanks for the lag around the corner. I'm, I'm glad I activated my damage boost. So you're simply lagging around the corner and I can't do a thing about it. That's just awesome. Okay, let's go over here to the left side. So we can start hammering down this guy. There comes this shield now. Shooting past him. Let's time him out. He's gonna bring up that next shield. No, he's gonna face shift. Then he brings up the next shield. There it is. That was to expect. Uh, but we're gonna have him just in a matter of seconds. Three, two, one, and and lag. Three, two, one. Next, next shield. Next protection lag. I, I'm protect. I'm uh, stopping him from capturing the beacon here. We can't kill him. I cannot. I cannot actually kill this guy. I actually can't kill him. It's literally impossible to just get this guy because of the constant shields, the lags, the face shifts, the lags, the shields, the lags, the shields, the lags, the shields, the lags, the shields. Wow. Look at that. He's got that shield back. It is unbelievable. It is unbelievable how he got this shield. And he's got another shield back. After the shield replaced by another shield. Pixonic, this has to stop. This is no more fun to play. This is really not fun to play. Let's go for the Ao Chun up, Ao Ming up there. Oh my god, this guy is going down fast. Wow. Well, that was, that was fun. That was fun, not gonna lie. <laughs> that was fun. Because Titans do not have these annoying shields every few seconds. So, it's actually more interesting to fight Titans now than it is to fight robots that bring up shields every two seconds. What absolute nonsense. What were you thinking, War Robots? I don't understand. <laughs> How could anybody think that was a good idea? How? How in anyone's right mind is that a good idea? To let this shield pop up every five seconds. That is outrageous. It means that phase shifts around it and abilities around it. It's just, you never have enough time to actually do damage to somebody. So here we have a shotgunner coming in. A shotgun uh, thing. And I'm shooting it from right here. I think I can hit him, actually. Yep. Every time I hit him, he's taking a good hit. He can't hide behind the wall, it seems. Seems like I'm doing more damage there, but I have to reload. Let's reload, okay? Um, and then go maybe in range of the other, um, of this guy. Okay, here we go. Bam, 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 bam. Whoa! Almost fully reloaded, and look what, what this guy is suffering, man. Yeah, that is just crazy. Oh, he lags hard. Okay, got him down to last stand. Yo, see, now the setup is working pretty well. Uh, because we have we have the necessary range. And, um, and we have a good spot here on the map. And we are protected from enemies as well. He's running his reflector right now. I wish I could time him out. Another thing, Pixonic, I think that the timeout ability from the Sharenga should be having... Um, should, ha should have 600 meters range. 
Because so often you can't use this to support your team. This is not just a, an ability for yourself, it's also an ability to protect your team. It's a very supportive ability. Because if somebody uses a reflector, for example, you can use that ability to protect your teammate from him, right? So it, it is a very, it's a really nice support ability, but, but by restricting the range to 350 meters on that blackout or, or a phase exile ability, you kind of make this not support at all because you're often out of 350 meters range and you can't help your teammates by using that ability. So, yeah, I think it would be good to consider, maybe, uh, make setting the range for the, uh, for the, for this, um, for the face exile ability to 500 meters range. Uh, Warabots are expensive, thank you. Yeah, you did pr Pratmano, yeah, you can say that. Uh, they are, you can, you can drop a lot in this game, of course. I know that myself as well. I've gotten myself plenty of things on my own account, and, uh, yeah, it can get pretty expensive. Uh, but at least, and that's one thing I like about War Robots, is that they let, they let you play as much as you want. There are other games out there that have a certain, like, an energy bar that goes down, and if it's depleted, you can no more play. Or like Vega Conflict back in the days, where there's repair time on your fleets, up to 48 hours in real time. You literally have to sit there, wait 48 hours for your fleet to be repaired so you can play it again. Um, unless, of course, you pay and instantly coin skip it, right? And th those games, they make it so much worse because you can't even you can't even play anymore if you don't pay. Um, and uh, World of Wars at least allows you to play as much as you want, even though there is of course clear pay-to-win aspects in the game. Um, but um, yeah, uh, so there's pros and cons to everything. Tiger one and ti uh, and Tiger. Uh, okay. Uh, what's your favorite robot? Last hope. Uh, my favorite robot would still be the Typhon, um, if it wasn't for the shield stuff. All this shield stuff coming up now, protecting robots. Even the Typhon can't work with this. The Typhon's ability is 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 made so that nobody can get any shield, any active, uh, no phase shift, nothing. Right? They can't protect themselves for for at least for those five seconds. Now everybody has two purple shields popping up. Yeah, Typhon ability doesn't work anymore. You can hit them, you can deactivate them, and they still bring up the shield. And my favorite robot setup is still Vortex, but Vort Vortex doesn't work in the game because shields. It's just, no matter where I look, these shields just destroy everything I love about, about War Robots. Everything I love about this game is getting blatantly destroyed by those stupid popping shields every few seconds now. You cannot just walk in and brawl your way through an enemy, right? You, you, you can't just lock in and have a fight, have a nice brawl. Something that used to be what War Robots is all about. Just hop in and fight, right? Mech Warrior, bam, bam, bam. Fight each other and destroy robots. No more. Now it's constantly shield, face shift, stealth and all this nonsense that every robot can have now. As this is annoying. Gentleman with a two dollar or two euro, geiler stream, freundliche Grüße aus Wien. Hey, danke dir, mein Freund. That's freut mich, freut mich zu hören. Uh, liebe Grüße zurück. Greetings back to, uh, oh yeah, Wien. How do you say Wien in English? Uh, I, I've never, I think I've never heard the, the, the name Wien in English. Maybe it's also Wien. <laughs> um, uh, would donate more, but I can't. Here's, uh, here to watch, sad. Hey, no, don't worry about it, my friend. Uh, that is not a problem. Even just giving a tiny bit is also helpful, and also you don't have to give anything. It's just optional. No name. Thank you, man. So, jumping into... Uh, what's your favorite Titan from Suja, uh, Suja, Suyata Nahir? I think Nair. Um, my favorite Titan right now is actually the Sharenga. Uh, I like it best. Uh, it's a very... Uh very um, universal. You can do a lot of things with it. You can be a brawler with the shotguns. You can be an absolute titan killer. And Arthur... Arthur Shrek, if you will. Like Panzer Shrek, Arthur Shrek. Uh, if you run the uh, Tsar rockets on it and just delete Arthur's left and right. You can be an amazing sniper. And you can do some extra sniping w with chain damage with a striker very well. You have all possibilities and options on it. And that really makes the, um, the Sharenga such an awesome universal thing. However, for some of these abilities or some of those tech uh, uh, tactics, it would be good to have um, support. To have somebody in the game that comes in to help and, and, and heal you up, right? Alright, I'm trying to deal as much damage as I can here. I know there's a health owner to my right somewhere. But for now, I'm just busy firing down this dude. Okay, health owner has just exploded. But of course, the health owner is getting a shield now for a second. Now, last stand is running. Trying to stay away from him. There's no reason for me to be there in, in there too. Because this leech has done a great job, man. God of War, awesome job, my friend. You sacrificed yourself 
for the greater good. Something I see not often enough in the game, if you ask me, that people really are like, okay, you know what? This has to be done. I, I don't want it, but it has to be done. If I don't step on that beacon, this Hellburner is going to capture it. And he's realized that, he's thrown his bot in, and he de didn't feel bad about losing some of that health uh, because he knew it was going to be, it had to be done, it was worth it. And it really was, man. God of War, you're an amazing team player, man. Thank you for being in my team. Um, uh-oh. Uh, oh boy. Uh, I know, what, what's with the leeches? Dude, this is the fifth leech now. What is going on now? There's so many leeches left and right. Is this another I think this is also a leech. Or was it a Fiddler? I don't know. Alright, let me let me just do a thing here on the beacon. Another leech is in the game. My overdrive is running, so I can do massive damage right now. You see right here, I'm deleting people in like two or three shots. Let's delete him as well. Okay. Oh no, my uh my thing is rocking here. The uh Oh come on, turn the beacon for the love of God! Why is it still blue? Okay, we got it. Nice. Where is he going? Oh, he teleported right there in front of us. Ba 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 bam. Ba 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 bam. Wow, the hawk is down to like no health in a second. And then of course, of course I will be like just adding, uh, activating my flight ability. And I'm adding corrosion to him. So that the moment he drops down... Is he getting killed by something? Yeah, somebody's inside his shield. And we have uh, T-34 over there doing a great job in the enemy base. Deleting things. Uh-oh. Okay, I got a kill. Beyond godlike. Thank you. I know I'm beyond godlike. Yes. Uh-oh. I am losing health now. I have to dodge and dodging. This guy is on the beacon. I have to do the same sacrifice that the other guy did before. Hello. actually, wait a minute. That wasn't a sacrifice. Uh, okay. It might be a sacrifice after all. Okay. We're done. But... We can jump into the Sharenga now and see what we can do with it. Bam, 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 bam. Look at this Arthur. Look how fast he's going down now. Holy smokes. He thinks he's getting hit by a hundred Aumings at the same time right there. But it was just one Sharenga. Just one Sharenga. Whoa, what is that? A King Kongo with 500 NT dollars. I don't know what NT dollars are, but King Kongo, man, thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'll be reading your message in just a second. That was a massive message right there. Uh, a message, uh, massive thing coming up. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let me get around the corner here real quick. Save myself from honor. Karaki. Here, Karaki. Hold the gendarme for me. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. It's so good when you can snipe from afar and not get harassed by any annoying things in the distance. Oh, hey, speaking of, about getting harassed by annoying things, right? Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Still st still being in, in, in reach here, uh, in safety for the moment. He's gonna start to uh, land now. There it is. Got him down to last stand. How much range does the suppression ability from the Nodens have? I think 500, right? Or is it 600? I don't know. I will have to reload some of my firepower here, but I think the enemy is actually going down now. Bam, bam, bam. Extra damage activated. He's locked. He's right in the middle of the firepower there. Oh, man, that Nodens has taken a beating, dude. He's taken a, quite a beating. Bam, bam. Awesome music. Pop, pop, pop. Let's go for it. Firing empty everything we've got. Ignar Juk with a 10 euros. Man, Ignar, how are you, my friend? I'll be reading all those messages in just a second. Pots, right after killing this guy and dealing damage to him. Yo, sniping ain't so good. Uh, timeout. <laughs> timeout. Break. I don't want to get shot by you anymore. Okay. Well, I'm far away. I'm not really taking damage right now, so that's good. Bam, 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 bam. Working down this guy's shield from all the way over here. Just a matter of time before he goes, and there he is. All right, so what did we have here? Uh, gentlemen, uh, it's called Vienna. Oh, Vien Vienna, Vienna. That's right, gentlemen, thank you uh, for the two euros. Vienna is uh, Wien. Uh, King Congo, uh, I started following your YouTube three months ago, watching all your live videos from seven years ago to now. You're the best Warabots player. Uh, by Taiwan, money, fan. Thank you so much, my friend. Um, 
<coughs> I'm being told it's about uh, $20 or something, uh, or 18 Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it so much, dude, really. That is That means a lot to me. And uh, greetings over to Taiwan. Uh, Ignar Juk with 10 euros. Uh, kill them all. Sharenga with t three times Tsar and full max level cannibal reactor. Would be nice to see killing titans. The thing is, though, with the cannibal reactor, I'm really not a fan of those because you're sacrificing so much firepower against regular robots and you're only getting so little extra. Uh, if we take a look at this, okay, uh, Assault Reactor has 27%, Cannibal Reactor, 40 13% more, more, but you're sacrificing 27% against robots, but you're only getting 13 more against Titans. I think that's not worth it. In my opinion, Antimatter Reactor is the way to go if you want to deal damage. Forget about the uh, the uh, Cannibal Reactor. It's, it's a nice thing to play with, to make a thumbnail that says 300% damage or so. It's cool to make that, but... Other than making a special topic or a thumbnail like that, I, other than that, I think it doesn't really make sense. It's better to run, run the antimatter and just deal, deal almost 30% damage against everyone increase. So, uh, having a look at the, uh, the stream chat for a sec, when is the next giveaway, Manny? Well, the next giveaway has just been. We just had a giveaway. The next one will be in three, two weeks, three weeks. I love your videos, Christian Garcia. Hey, man, thank you so much, buddy. Uh, buy a hamster, Karina Va uh, Vasquez uh, says. A hamster? Why would I want a hamster? hamster why would i want one why do i need one uh hola bro uh daniel gaspar hey hola <laughs> uh and uh, manny please read my question oh god kim uh, where was your question up there uh why does it say one million days server maintenance on the warbots test server <laughs> one million days i don't know maybe they plan to never have a test server anymore in this uh, millennia i don't know it's just a bug i guess um with Sharenga, 4 million damage is nothing. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that is true. Uh, you can do so much more damage, Mahiji. Uh, in this case, did we do 4 million? These weapons just don't do it, really. If you if you, you run those weapons, you're not going to do as much damage as with a, with a shotguns or with a cataclysm or many other things, in my opinion. Or even Tsar. Tsar does better, too. Uh, so, let's jump into the next match, guys. Do you remember me? Uh, Alan YouTube. Uh, I think I've heard your name before, but... I don't quite know where from. Probably from a live stream, I would guess, right? Uh, by the way, don't forget about the t-shirts, guys. Look at that. Look at that fool. Look at him looking like a fool being really happy. But the t-shirt makes him look better, don't you think? <laughs> uh, so that would be uh, me wearing those three t-shirts that you can get um, from the... Uh, uh, very soon. Tomorrow's video will explain to you how you can get... Uh, one of those t-shirts. Keep in mind, there's only going to be a time frame, time frame of about 24 hours. Only for 24 hours can you get those t-shirts. Tomorrow's video will tell you when those 24 hours begin and how you can get one of those t-shirts. See, I... Oh, sniper map! Yes! See, I didn't waste any of your time. I showed you this while the count... While we were in the matchmaker anyways. Eh? Man, he's smart. Smart dude. Yeah, he's this guy. This guy. Yeah, yeah, you can... He knows how to do the YouTube thing, right? <laughs> Nice, we dropped the Hawk down to last stand now. Let's activate the shield and just activate some extra damage here against this guy. Instantly dropping him down to super low health. To last stand almost. Oh, come on! I just can't make it happen. He's healing He's healing back everything so fast. Uh-ohs. Oh, man, I'm taking so much damage from something. What? This guy. This guy was doing so much damage to me. He's got 600 meters range. I got 600 meters range too. I'm gonna stay out of that. He almost dropped me to last stand now. That was crazy. But I think I'm safe here. I'm actually safe here around, about, uh, behind this thing. This column in front of me actually protects me from him. Watch. If he gonna, tries to come out and attack me, you're gonna see what I mean. Okay. See that? He, he wants to shoot me now. But he can't. Actually, wait. He can? What the heck? Dude, that, that thing was supposed to protect me. That little column thingy there in front of me was supposed to protect me. Alright, hitting that ha hawk incredibly hard. D locked him, brought him down to really low health. Then activating the shield. And uh, giving it everything we've got right here. Okay, there we go. That shield was pretty useless though, unfortunately. And oh god, come on, I need to take one step. Actually, wait, I want to finish him. Pop, 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 there we go. Wait, why are you not dead yet? Oh, you're healing. Stop healing. All right, overdrive is still rocking. Titan time is, is imminent. 
Okay, activating extra weapons here. Oh, come on, man. Oh, that stealth lasted so la long. That's... Oh, my God. He's got another stealth ability. This is so frustrating, man. This is so frustrating. Those stupid stealth abilities. Every robot can be stealth, can have absorber shields now. No robot... <laughs> You know, you know the thing, right? You know my critics here. Cloaking unit shouldn't exist. Even last end shouldn't exist if we're being honest here. But we have gotten used to last end, okay? Leave last end in the game. But that cloaking unit. God, delete that. Shh, Nike stuff. Real fast. Okay, here we have a nice uh, enemy in there. If somebody was to deal damage to me so I could bring up that shield and uh, and and reinforce it. Oh yeah, here comes the damage. Nice. Incredible in increase damage going. Ba 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 ba. Oh yeah, look at him taking damage like a boss. <laughs> like a boop. Taking damage like a boop boss. Yep, that's what I said. Boss was the word, of course. What else did you think? Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh boy, that's going to be bad. Uh he's saying, "Look, he's shaking his head." He was shaking his head right there. I'm not sure if I really saw it right, but I think it looked like he was. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. Let's jump away here. I think he's got the flamer. Oh my god, that shield lasts forever! Dude, that shield that lasts till the end of the earth, dude! Okay. Boom, there we go. Let's finish him there. Nice. And then finish him. You thought you could get away with a shield here, sir? <laughs> no. Well, actually, wait. I think that's exactly what he just did. He got away. He literally got away with the shield. <laughs> that is literally what he just did. But you know what? It didn't help him for long, and this guy is not safe around that corner. That's for sure. So let's do some nice snipey snipe. Oh, that Arthur is actually not safe there. Nice. I can hit him. I thought he was going to be safe around that corner, but uh, behind that wall. Oh, 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 what is that? Oh, oh, it's a lagging lychee boy. It's a face shifting lagging lychee boy. It's a last standing face shifting lagging lychee boy. And now it's a dead face shifting lagging lychee ledge. Oh, man. I, wanna, I just, you know, I like those, those, those riddles, those things. Just like add a word and then repeat it every single time. But I, I, I usually, at some point, I, I reach a point where I can no longer go on. I, I just I just can't remember the many words anymore. <laughs> okay. Let's let's just walk out of his reach because he's got 500 and I've got 600 meters range. I don't have to expose myself to him like that, right? And he's missing me with every shot, anyways. So uh, yeah. Yep. Clearly, you're not safe there, my friend. Rocket for the wall. Nice. Nice shot. And I think he's going down now. Yeah, he's getting deleted. I can't hit him, though. Okay, now I could. We are going to win this match, it seems, but... Actually, wait a minute. It's relatively even. Wow, look at the damage he's taking right there. Okay, you're stealthed. <laughs> He's shaking his head again. <laughs> Elon Musk! Elon Musk, you are the reason why I lost some money in Bitcoin recently. Why have you done this? Alright, um, let's go for it. There's a Ravana coming in. There's a laggy. Oh, man. Ah, Come on, die! Yeah, hold up the last physical shield you've got for me. All right, so keeping on, keeping. Oh, oh, he's in range. Hold on. Bam, 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 bam. Yep, you're out of your suppression ability, right? Oh, wait, you. Oh, okay. I thought it only has 500 meters, but you know what? I'm out of his weapon range. Let's wait for it. Reload, 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 and then activate extra damage. Still out of his range. He only has 500 meters. I got 600, and I'm just completely deleting this guy, dude. Oh man. Okay, I have to save this for him. I'm gonna go for him first. Oh, I'm suppressed. Oh, man. I was just suppressed. That sucks, dude. But can I get him to last stand at the very least? No, I cannot. But I can save time for... Um, for when he brings up his flight ability again. 
which is gonna happen any moment now. Here it is. Is he gonna come in to let me do this with him? Yep. Okay, then deleting him real quick. He's the bigger danger. This guy doesn't really have firepower. Like, his cryos, they have so little firepower, I don't really care about this, right? Those little things don't really, they like tickle. They are tickling me a little bit. Uh, so, I didn't really worry about this guy. Because I can't kill him anyways with his 100 phase shifts, but um, I could kill the Hawk. And the Hawk was the bigger threat in this case. Um, so, what did, we, what did I miss? Ralph Brawl Stars with two euros. Hey Manny, I'm Ralph and I want to say uh, you're amazing. Thank you, Ralph. Uh, you're amazing too, man. Thank you for your help. And uh, we have Crutch K. Uh, let's hit 1,000 likes on this live stream. How many do we have? Can I see that? Five. Something with five. 500? Uh, can we hit 1,000 likes in this live stream, ladies and gentlemen? If everyone in this live stream hits like, we should have it immediately. So, uh, good, good question, Church K. I would like to see if that works. If everybody hits that like button right now, we should instantly boost to over 1,000. Let's see if that works, man. Uh, but for now, let's uh, read a few messages in the stream chat. Greetings from Seattle, Jay McKean. Hey, man. Greetings back to Seattle, dude. Um, <laughs> funny. Uh, in that last video where I made a NordVPN... Uh, um, Add, uh, I chose Seattle as one of the points in the US uh, to link to with the NordVPN. That is funny. I just realized that. Uh, Manny, do your live stream. Uh, Manny, uh, it, Manny is rich. Nah, nah, I really, I'm really not. I'm really not. But, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm doing okay. I'm not rich, though. Uh, I don't know why would you say that. Uh, Manny, you're the best player in the world. No, I don't think so about any gaming, but I appreciate you saying that or thinking that, anyways. Uh, kannst du mich mal grüßen? Leon B. Na klar, mein Freund. Hier, Grüße raus an Leon B. Uh, greetings. Uh, I'm not doing this all the time now. I'm not saying greetings to everyone just because it says it, but I did it the first time now. 617 likes now. Wow, the, the likes already went up by one. No, actually two now. It's seven. Something with seven. 700 something. The likes were going up crazy, man. You guys are awesome. <laughs> That actually works. I can't believe this works so so nicely. Thank you so much, guys, for helping out with this. Because it actually, in case you didn't know, likes are helping the algorithm. Or, like, the video and the algorithm. So, if you guys like a video, that's always why. It would be awesome if you did like the videos that I upload. If you like them. I don't want you to like something you don't actually like. But if you do like the videos, it would be good if you did that. Because it helps the video get around better in the algorithm and score well. Uh, hey Manny, I'm find my way. Uh, I'm gonna find a way to become a membership on your channel, a AQ Gamer. Uh, yeah, I, I um, I don't know why it doesn't work for you, man. But uh, just visit the video description. In the video description is a link too. Just use the link from the video description. That should work. Woher kannst du Deutsch, Fritz? Uh, Fritz fragt, woher ich Deutsch kann. Uh, Bickelmeier, Fritz Bickelmeier. Uh, well, that's easy to answer because I am German. Uh, ich bin Deutsch. Ich bin hier in Deutschland geboren und lebe mein ganzes Leben hier. Also, uh, yeah. Uh, German is my natural tongue, uh, natural, my, uh, yeah, native tongue, um, but it's interesting that you guys as Germans don't hear that out, you don't hear that I'm actually not, Ger that I'm just a German, that, that means I'm getting pretty successful with my English by now, uh, Quirky King, Q-W-E-R-T-Y, that's the, t the, 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 the keyboard layout, um, I agree, Manny, they, they, uh, they're called tongue twisters, and they, uh, they are fun to try and say. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love it. It's like a adding another word every time, and then, like, <laughs> at some point, you can't get it, get it, get it anymore. Maybe we can do this more often. We are mean like, at more, meanwhile, more than 800 likes, guys. Awesome, let's jump into the next battle. Hopefully, we're getting another sniper map. We could try team deathmatch. Uh, and, uh, I want to become a member, but I'm broke. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, but, uh, yeah, membership starts at, what was it, $2, $3, what's the smallest one? It, it, like, there's a really, really small one that you could get, become if you want to. You don't have to, man. You can, right? It's always just an optional thing. Make it 1,000, Andrew Brown says. Yeah, money, good guy. By the way, how am I doing? How am I doing now with the reading stream chat, right? This is a little bit, this is new for me because... I usually am the type of guy who likes to concentrate on gaming, trying to get the best performance out, showcase the robots the best way possible to, you know, to convince you that, you know, they're, they're, they can be good if you're played right or whatever. Uh, and uh, in this case, of course, on, the, on an old road sheet, it's going to be easy. Um, uh, but yeah, so I'm trying to do more reading stream chat now. And I hope you guys are <laughs> think it's cool. What was I doing? Was I flying here for a sec? Oh yeah, my drone is already doing some stuff. I'm hiding here around the corner. Hawk is coming in with a laser beam. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. Okay, let's see what we can do about this guy. Oh wow, I think they have quantum sensor. Yeah, they have quantum radar. 
Oh man, and I got locked and I got suppressed and I'm getting hit and I'm dead. Wow, someone got me with the with the Typhon ability before I made it in cover. I could not reactivate stealth. I could not activate healing. I couldn't do anything. And if you take a look at the enemy team, you'll notice that there are six of them literally in one place. Six enemy players literally in one location. They are doing exactly what you need to be doing in team deathmatch to be successful. They're doing this exactly the right thing. They just deleted one of the most powerful robots played by one of the most powerful players, as you guys say. I'm hoping you guys are right with this. Um, and I deleted me as if it was a little nothing. As if I was absolutely nothing. So this guy here. Oh, come on, don't fly too far. I want to get this guy because he was the reason I just died a second ago. So, yeah, took him down. He was the reason I died. That Typhon robot killed me. A well-placed and well-timed Typhon hit can be so devastating. Okay, here we go. Extra increased damage. Oh, I can't actually hit him. Well, okay. Let's see if we can snap into their base from behind with a teleport. And see what we can do from here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide and and stay quiet. Well, actually, wait a minute, that's not staying quiet, but I'm doing a lot of damage to this guy. We know that this guy right there, he's got quantum sensor, a uh, quantum radar. I'm trying to dodge his shots right now. Wow, I just killed both of these guys. Triple kill! Woo! I killed all their sniper robots. Oh! Break, break! Whoa! We have two outjoints instantly coming over to delete my face. They really don't want my face to exist any longer. And they did delete my face. Damn it! Two outjoints, immediate hard counter. With the legendary hawk and pilot, probably, the uh, uh, the Yang Li pilot. So they really hard countered the setup instantly. You can tell those guys know what they're doing. They're not noobs. These guys know exactly what they're doing because they hard counter uh, the setup by bringing the one thing that sees through their stealth, right? So that's pretty cool. Bam, 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 bam. Before this guy even arrives in his stealth, uh, I have him almost killed. Pretty much instantly deleted. Oh, come on, man. The legs are so annoying. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. It's eight versus seven. So right now we're doing well. This guy's coming in range. Oh, he's face shifting immediately now. Ba ba bam 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 ba ba bam. Okay, gotten the leech out of the way. Now we have a a strong Ravana in front of us. He's going to use his ability now. Is that an enemy behind me in my freaking base? An enemy behind me in my base. Wow, dirt. Jeez. I'm, I'm trying to retreat behind my team so that they can help me with this guy. Because I actually have a bit of a problem with this. I'm activating this to stop him from exploding. See, now he exploded, but no one took damage. Because I, I timed him out in his explosion. My team needs to kill him, though. And I'm gonna be busy firing at something else, because I can't actually deal damage to this guy. Oh wow, the hawk is in range and I'm suppressed. Oh man, oh! I'm locked at the same time. That's the worst thing ever, is that I got locked at the same time. That really was the killer. The lockdown was the absolute killer in this situation. This lockdown really did destroyed me hard. Oh my god, I can't move because this guy stands in front of me. He's gonna start to fly in a second again. He wants that uh, that Sharenga killed, and he's going to get that done. But uh, I got myself into a spot where I can, uh, uh, you know, t time him out right now. And then hit him hard afterwards. I need something to heal me if that would be possible. That would be cool. I got him. Boom, boom, boom. Nice sniping damage from over here. There's another hawk. Let's take the hawk down as fast as we can. If someone had a Nodens in our team, that would be so incredibly helpful here. If someone had a Nodens.
How am I not hitting him? Okay, got him. 16 versus 11. We still need that, uh... Okay, I gotta get him, I gotta get him. Ah, unfortunately I couldn't. I was trying to get him before he actually manages to get off into his... into his ability. Alright, there comes a dude. He's still too far away, though. This guy up there, he's not showing himself other than... Uh-oh. Trying to work down the shield here. My Arthur friend is also on it. Yeah, I think I just worked, for, worked the shield down with my... Uh, with the other Arthur there. I'm protecting him. Or I'm trying to protect him. But I can't really do it because there's another Arthur coming in. A Nodens. They have a Nodens somewhere. Where do they have their Nodens? I'm trying to delete that Arthur that's behind there. Because that one has the lowest amount of health. But he's getting, of course, healed by the other Nodens. The Nodens is healing this guy up. And that really makes this very difficult and painful. Okay. So they, of course, have the Nodens, and we don't. We still have not a single Nodens on the battlefield. Why is it always my team that doesn't have a Nodens in the battlefield? I don't understand. Why is it always my team without the Nodens? Ugh. Still, another Arthur. Okay. Can I hit this guy? No, I can't. Can I hit him? No, I can't. Wow, am I taking a lot of damage from there. Unreal. Oh, come on. I almost got the dude. I almost got him. Oh, and he's in range now. Oh, I'm. we have a Nodens! We have a Nodens! I can't believe it! We actually do have a Nodens now! Wow, he can shoot over this? And this shotgun Arthur can actually hit me. Yep, the Arthur there can actually hit me. Uh, well, I got the Nodens pretty late. <laughs> yeah, they're, rump they're, de they're absolutely deleting our team right now. Um, and it's gonna be pretty difficult. But what I can do is try and score kills. I'm not trying to defeat the Nodens now. I'm trying to score kills. Right? That's what I do. I'll score kills here as much as I can. Because I want to win the match. And for winning the match, I don't have to fight and kill the Nodens. It's enough when I just jump in back and forth and try to kill vulnerable robots. If there are any. Yeah, this guy is also going down pretty well, as you see here. He's actually losing a lot of health from those flamethrowers. I just dropped him by 50%. And there's another robot here. Okay. I got him suppressed. I almost got him killed. Uh, I need to get this guy up there. Because that is... But he's also getting healed. This guy is the next easy kill, I think. This guy would be another kill we can get. I'm trying to, just trying to snuggle kills here, but the match is over anyways. And we won with one kill in advance. Wow. If I had gotten one of those kills, not gotten one of those kills, then we would have lost this match. Or any one of our team. Oh, unfortunately, I can't show the match because the game crashed. Money playing smart. Yeah, that's right. That's what you got to do in Team Deathmatch. You got to win. And the enemy team was so much more powerful than we were. Why? Because they had that Nodens doing the ultimate team support. That Nodens with all other Titans on the battlefield, healing them all up. Every single Titan they had was as powerful as two or three Titans due to that one Nodens in the middle. And my team just did not have that Nodens until the very end 
when it was too late. We needed our Nodens sooner than our all our Titans, our two Arthurs before, our Sharenga. They would have all lived twice as long or even longer if we had that Nodens sooner. But our Nodens came in at the very last se second. Very sad. Otherwise, it would have been an easy win. It would have been easy, but we still won. Just barely. <laughs> barely. And uh, 900 something likes, by the way, guys. 900. We are so close before a thousand something. That is awesome, guys. Thank you so much for the help. Um, hi, Manny. You're uh, good. I can uh, spend. Uh, du musst nicht spenden, Master Skywalker. Uh, nur wenn du, wenn du willst und wenn du kannst. Nobody has to, sp uh, to, to donate any, anything, right? Just every, only if you think, like, okay, yeah, well, I'm being thoroughly entertained. Let's hear, here, give something or something. Uh, but nothing really has to be done here. Hi, Manny. Du bist. Uh, oh, no, that, that was the same thing I just read. Can you please say hi to me, Manny? It's about... I'm about to leave. Alexander Schlemmer. Okay, okay. Just, uh... As an, another exception. Uh, but don't try and do this always with me, you guys. Like, saying, oh, hey, please greet me and then uh, expect me to do that. Okay, sometimes I'll do it, but very rarely. Why did I get a Kit Titan at level 21? Everybody gets one Kit Titan. You always get a start with a Kit. You get the Kit for free. Uh, but you're not getting the other Titans for free. You're not gotta get them from Platinum. Which you have to make the daily missions for. Uh, in order to obtain that and store, store it. That's how you do it in the money town. That's right, last hope. Yeah. Five million in 30 minutes. Five million in f What do you mean, five million in 30 minutes? All right, let's do another uh, another Beacon Rush match here. <laughs> You're the best, man. Choco, lot, love. Thank you, man. 1K likes, baby. Oh, we have it. We did it. Awesome, guys. We did it. 1,000 likes in this live stream. I don't know uh, what the usual likes like amount is during our live streams, but that is awesome. Also, you guys out there watching the video later on demand as a, as an ex just as an on demand video, not not as a live stream. You can also like this further. You can keep keep going with this, and we can get it maybe to two and a half or maybe three thousand, whatever. I don't know. If the video gets like let's say fifty thousand views, uh, if everybody would like once, that that would actually wait. I don't know, uh, but we could probably get like 20,000 likes. I think it's probably possible. Is it probable? <laughs> probably not, but it's. I would say it's possible at the very least. So we're doing the uh, the old Ares here with the Pulsar and Shredder. No, Pulsar and uh, and Magnetar actually. Is he locked? Oh man. Okay, firepower, firepower, firepower. He's got the shield breaker running. Oh, nice legs, nice legs. I'm glad that you lagged right when I was activating my all my weapons. Uh, where is he? There he is. All right, let's uh, get him. We gotta get him killed, man. He's capturing our beacon. I hope that phantom is gonna make it onto the beacon before he gets it. He's still. Nope, nope, nope. We were not able to do this. Now, I mean, seriously, are you ever gonna leave stealth? Are you ever going to leave that stealth ability? I mean, this guy has been in stealth for the better part of two minutes now. Seriously, this guy has not left stealth freaking once, man, in all this time. And then he kills me, as it was nothing. He leaves stealth not. He's got three times cloaking unit on it. Uh, so yeah, he's never leaves stealth. So you can you can have stealth as unlimited times. You can run around being stealth forever. With this nonsense. Cloaking unit. Worst idea ever. Absolute nonsense. There should be a limit on how long you could be stealthed. Uh, but not like this, man. This is crazy. And then having the shield and the face shift on top of all that, you know? Am I ever gonna turn this? Ah, oh, okay. Sometimes it lags and you don't get the... Um, the you, you don't see that you're turning it white. Due to the lag. Okay, here we go. Bop. This guy done. Uh, isn't this the enemy beacon right here behind me? Uh-oh. Whoa, this guy's flying backwards. He's got some serious moves. Have you seen this out, Shun, man? This guy is, has some serious moves in him. He was flying backwards like a, like a boss, dude. Awesome skills and movement. Uh, okay, nice teleport. We're turning the beacon white. Trying to deal damage here, trying to help out. Oh, actually, hold on, the beacon is still theirs. Okay, I'm on here with the Ravana. 
Okay. I'm stealthing now. Oh, whoa, that's another enemy now in front of me. What the heck? He came out of nowhere and sat himself in front of me. There goes this guy, and that is it for him. Okay. And here comes a shell robot. He's going to explode, but I'm not going to allow him to explode in my face. Uh, but I'm going to flame him down. Of course, I can't kill him because stupid shield, but uh, the Arthur Blast Wave should do it. Or my flames, I don't know. One of those. Overdrive is running. We're doing massive damage here. Is that a... Uh, that, okay, that's a... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going for the Arthur now. Increased damage running. Arthur has quantum sensor. Oh, man. Really, Arthur? Oh, man. He's got that quantum sensor. That hurts. I have to stay out of 350 meters range with because of that. Okay, we're on the Nodens. <laughs> the Nodens is taking some serious damage right there. Some serious heat. Yeah, I'm going for the Nodens. This guy has to do, has to go. Because he's really the most dangerous thing in this team. He can just get, keep, keep healing and, and getting those Titans in the game. Keeping them in the game. And I don't want this. I'm going for the Arthur now from behind. Now that he can no longer be healed. Oh yeah, I love when they turn around and instantly fire at you. And don't need to uh, actually aim at you or establish a target lock. Okay, here we have this guy coming. That should be it for him, though. Running in, trying to get this guy destroyed. Oh, what? Okay. Wow, they have all beacons! They literally have all the beacons in the game now. Wow. That is crazy. How did we lose every beacon on this map at the same time? What? How is that possible? Uh, he just deleted the other guy there real quick. But I also uh, did a serious amount of damage to him. Ah, oh, come on. The match is already over. This sucks. Uh, we have... Uh, I agree they call tongue twisters. Yeah, I've read this. Uh, Ignite Walker. I got the new Sharanga Titan and two tiers at, at SARS. Uh, and I still prefer the Nodens over the Sharanga because it can charge the out change the outcome of the game by a margin. Ignite, that is exactly my point. The Sharenga is incredibly fun to play, but the impact of the of one Nodens is much larger than the than the impact of one Sharenga. Uh, un unless you 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 are in the in the enemy base and you spawn kill everything that spawns in front of you with Grums, then maybe the impact of the Sharenga can be crazier. But usually, the impact of a Nodens is way harder. Uh, so can you use Jump Unit on the Orochi? Uh, yeah, I can. All right, let's go and do that. Let's go and do this. Uh, using jump unit on the Orochi. Who said it? Who wants me to do that? Uh, uh, ta Tani... Tani... Shi... 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 Tani... Shing... 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 Si. Uh, I probably said that pretty badly. Sorry, my friend. I, I sometimes struggle with the names. Um, trying my hardest, but... Uh, Varus, no, Va Va Varus, Varus, with one dollar. Thanks, Varus, uh, Varus. Not, no message attached, though. Um, uh, what? Okay. Uh, um, uh, Hector says he's a big fan, Hector Herrera. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, my ID is such and such from Chalk Oled Love. Okay, good to know. <laughs> uh, what was that? Manny, you're the best. Thanks, Michael Neal. Um, I want to also read some messages that say different things. I just pick random ones. Manny, I watch you since 2019. My favorite Warabas YouTuber. Hey, awesome, man. Thank you so much. Uh, Henry, könntest du mir eine Kombination von Behemoth empfehlen? Behemoth? You mean Behemoth? Henry, meinst du den Behemoth? Um, the, yeah, a combination or a setup for the Behemoth would be Flux, maybe? Uh, Dragoons are pretty good. Avalanche is really good right now. Avalanche is really awesome right now. Tr uh, uh, even um, the um, the old one, the, the Trident is still okay. Um, 
Other than that, I wouldn't go with anything short range. I would stay at long range. Gauss, of course, is super powerful. Gauss is a very powerful weapon. Um, money, what was that? Could you, uh, there was a message I overlooked. Uh, we love how a regular robot is 10 bucks on a good deal, but a Titan is three on a deal. What? Huh? Three, three dollars for a Titan? No, what? I just, I must've gotten that wrong. <laughs> Money's a beast, man. Thanks, buddy. Can you give Ares QR? QR? Quantum radar. Uh, hold on. Sure. We could do that. Uh, but I actually really enjoy that jump unit. It allows me to get out of tricky situations. But you know what? You guys are the viewers. You get to choose sometimes. Uh, here's a cookie for playing a match. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I think that is a, that's a hint. I should jump into the next match. Let's go with this, do this. Money, can you react to your most viewed videos? Uh, oh, I've never thought about this. That's actually a nice idea. Mm, I guess I could do such a thing. Whoa, what's with the match? Ah, here we go. Let's go with jump unit first on the Orochi and show you what crazy stuff you can do with that. Look at that. And two, one, bam. Look at this mad jump. A what? Dude, this, the game just screwed me. It, it, it just it decelerated me shortly before I was able to reach the, the spot. Okay, there is an enemy uh, shell robot. I'm already taking aim on the shell. Because as we know, those flamethrowers... Oh my god, he's got jump unit. Yeah. Okay. I'm staying on the beacon just for a second here. And then I'm jumping away. There's no point for me in uh, keeping uh, staying on this guy. The jump unit really killed it. The jump unit made it so that my flames couldn't hit him anymore. He could just get close to us and my flames did not reach him because of his jump unit. That is really frustrating, man. But you know what? I can do the same thing. Jumping on here. Activating stealth. Killing this guy. Getting myself in cover from the enemy uh, hawk. No, he's still on me though. And then he's lagging, he's lagging, he's not landing. Yep, and he's able to laser perfectly into his Zenith. Perfectly above his head, he was able to laser with a weapon that should not be able to do that. Uh oh, triple explosion here coming in, activating extra damage, boom! Nice, I think, no, I didn't get the uh, Ares behind me, what? How did I not get the Ares behind me killed? Or oh, sorry, the Hawk. That Hawk behind me, I should have gotten him killed. I thought he was in range. Jesus Christ, did you see how long that shield, that last, this space shift lasted? Alright, we're doing good, good here. Activating uh, extra damage there. Wow, doing a lot of damage there. Finishing him down to last stand. Okay, coming for this guy. With the explosion now, and boom. Oh, he was actually leeching at this very moment, okay. Activating. Another leech is coming. Okay, I should get him down to... He face shifted through my explosion. Unreal. Okay, get him. Him, and then finish him. Ah, uh, godlike. Wait, that's an enemy too? Whoa, I thought it was a friend. I thought that was a friendly dude right there. Oh man, I want to explode here. Did I not get him? I think I didn't get him again, right? He was out of 100 meters. Yeah, we got the beacon, nice. And I'm gonna stay on it now and delete everything from here. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of friends here on the beacon. I don't really have to uh, be quick about it or anything. Okay, he's now... Okay, I'm standing super close to him. Can I suppress him or lock him? Yeah, there it is. He's getting deleted. I'm gonna suppress him now so that our Titan survives. Yep, 
I suppress the enemy titan so that our titan can take him down and doesn't lose his health. Yo, this is a crazy strong setup here, man. This blitz robot is so powerful, it's insane. This is so powerful, you need a weapons license for this one. Okay. Dude, this guy had some serious health. Oh god, let's get away from him. Ah, who? That was close. Did you see how close this was? He almost got me with his uh, his his explosion there. Now we can, of course, bypass the shield very well. But I'm going for the Nodens now. Okay, suppressing him now. I got suppressed as well. Here comes the next suppression ability. Wow! Oh! Nah! You thought you could hit me with that? No! Ah! Yes! What is going on here? Yes! I'm getting a shield! Nice! Give me that sweet shield! I also get to have a shield once in a while. Once in a blue moon, I get a shield too. My team is completely losing all beacons! I keep two titans and a hawk busy for two minutes, and my team still manages to lose all the beacons on the map. How is this possible? How is this possible? When half the enemy team is literally busy uh, trying to get me down there. How can we still be losing the entire map? How is this? It makes no sense. Okay, so let's try and capture back some of the beacons. I actually can't hit the Nodens there. That's interesting. Look, I can actually hit that Nodens from here. That's pretty cool. This guy has found himself a really nice spot. But I think I should be able to hit him. Nodens, could you stop that? Like, what am I doing here in this? What am I doing to you that you're still suppressing me? Entire map between us, but you're suppressing me the whole time. I think we're actually work, uh, working down his shield right there. Yeah. I don't think he's actually safe behind this wall. Let me regenerate some health. As some firepower. And then activate with extra damage, extra weapons here. And we haven't gotten the beacon yet, actually. Oh, come on, man. Ah, oh, this is so much. Do we have a Nodens maybe somewhere? I could really use that Nodens right about now, guys. Oh, this Hawk is, is getting on, is annoying me. And now he's getting out of 600 meters range. Yeah, he does that very well. This- Oh, he lands right in that moment, man! I just activated my damage boost and the guy lands. Oh, come on. Right in that moment when I activate the extra damage, he starts to land. What a timing for that. The Hawk is on the battlefield again. Taking down our... And he, again, he gets out of 600 meters range, I think. Or he would've, this time. Oh wow, I'm the only survivor in the game now. Yep. I'm the last guy in the game now. Wow, dude. Wow. And there comes the Hawk again. He's gonna start to fly now. Yep, got him before he could st start his flight ability. Then I timed out the uh, the other dude. Yeah, I'm in trouble, man. The last survivor here on this battlefield with this Titan. 
Oh, I survived! Yes! I'm indestructible! <laughs> no one can kill me! Money, would you use the Minos with Cyclone or Squalls? Uh, I would use it with... Um, oh, it's very difficult because I've just recently made a video where I felt like uh, the Cyclones are doing really well on the Minos too. Uh, but the, the, gr uh, the, gr uh, the Squalls are overall stronger. But it depends on the playstyle. A lone wolf playstyle, a lone, uh, a single player, basically. Somebody who plays by himself a lot would maybe even do better with the Cyclones. Um, because the Squalls require you to go head in and brawl. And that really only works very well when you're getting support by healers. Without healer support, nah, it's not so easily uh, Anthony CE. So, uh, yeah, thanks for the three bucks, by the way. Um... Yeah, so, yeah, let's, it's hard to say. It depends on if you have play, uh, you know, support. Uh, Veronica Sinchi. Hey, Manny, my son Sal is, no, Sai. My son Sai on his War Robots game in Titan Store. There is no Sharenga, so he wants to ask you how to get it since he is your biggest fan. Veronica uh, Sinchi, greetings to your son Sai. Uh, that is very kind of you. Um, so the Sharenga Titan can currently not be obtained in the Titan Store. Uh, that would be what your what your son means is this store here, and the Sharenga is not in, um, because the Sharenga is currently only available uh, through uh, the uh, black market, which is down here in the left corner, and then here in these super chests. So you have to kind of buy a lot of keys and then fill up this bar by opening super chests for random loot, and you do, you're not going to get the Titan here. You can only can with luck get the Titan in this one here in the super chest. So you, you, you fill up three or four of those big ones, and then you get one of those. And then you have a chance to get the Sharenga, but it's only a chance. And I have heard from people who dropped a lot of money and they did not get the Sharenga. And this is something I already sent to Pixonic as negative critics and as feedback saying, this is nonsense, this shouldn't be the case. You should be able to have a price tag on the thing and then just get it if you want it, and then that's it. Um, but yeah, so this is where it is right now and only here. So, uh, sorry, I think this is... Uh, it's very unlikely that um, your son may be playing the uh, Sharanga right now. And this just shows how sad this actually is, right? Pixonic and uh, viewers out there, it's really sad. But um, yeah, so this is where it is, Veronica. Uh, I think Veronica was it, right? Um, uh, where is it? Uh, what is else? Uh, pin, pam, tuchu, tuchu, pin, pam, tuchu, tuchu. What is that for a comment? Okay. Can you lo uh, long jump with a Orochi? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's the easiest thing to do. The Orochi's long jump is the easiest long jump in the game uh, because you don't have to do anything right with it. Uh, that would be Alpkin Gulu. Gul. Uh, Manny, uh, do you know Joe? Ma uh, Ma Martin Mo Moyahat. Mo what is that, Moyahat? Uh, you mean Angry Joe or who do you mean? The Walking Joe from. Uh, the Working Joe from. from uh, what's it called here? Alien Isolation? What Joes do you mean? Is he coming for me now? What is he doing? Oh, he's up there. Ah, I see. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's get this guy. Alright, I'm not gonna allow this guy to get another ability. Okay. Again, going into stealth here. So, let me just show you the long, ju uh, long jump you can do on the Orochi. Uh, the, it's very easy on this one because you don't have to do like a dash in the right millisecond or something like this. None of that you have to do here. It's just gonna work easy peasy. All you've got to do is just uh, activate the running or you know the the, the 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 gliding rather on the things, and then and then do it. Hold on, let's go for this guy here. Wait for the high speed and then jump. So and then you're combining maximum speed uh, with the thing. Right? And then you get yourself super far. No one is able to uh, to understand how quickly... What? What hit me? What the... Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, did, what just happened? I just got some, some weird ghost damage or something. What happened? I don't understand. I I, I shot the, uh, the, the Typhon and I got locked down on myself. Why? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's go for this dude here. Yeah, I want that overdrive to activate. This is why I'm currently allowing some people to shoot me. Then we're gonna get this guy as he falls. 
I, again, I just lost a tremendous amount of health from something. I don't understand what just happened. Oh my god. Yeah, you know what? Play with yourself with your stupid stealth stuff. Stealth, 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 stealth. And after stealth comes stealth and then comes stealth. And after he finally had a couple of stealths and you survived the stealths, and then he's gonna stealth for a change. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, but we are still in the game, thankfully. We're not dead yet. I don't have jump unit on this Orochi, though. But uh, I have a lot of damage output. You just had a shield! You literally had a shield! You literally had a shield two seconds ago! Take a look at this guy! He came out of a shield! I fired at him twice, and he had a shield again! I'm gonna rewatch this part. This was two seconds without an absorber shield. And that was an air. That was an. Uh, not an Ares, that was a uh, Fenrir. A Fenrir doesn't have a native Ares shield. How can you have an Ares shield, uh, an, an, an absorber shield popping up? And then literally two seconds after it disappears, have the next one come up. This is absolute nonsense. It is no fun to play this game like this. It is so out of fun. It is no fun at all. It is so endlessly stupid and boring to play like this. Oh man, I think I'm in trouble now. He's gonna use a stove ability now. Yep. I'm gonna be under... Under this guy. He's just lost his, uh, his extra ability here. I'm, I can do some nice damage to him. This guy really has nothing else better to do, man. He's like, oh, he's already fighting a Titan in short range. Let me just fire at him too. And again, four people were on me and my team is losing the entire map. Uh, I, don't, I, blah, blah, I don't understand. This just makes no sense. This makes no sense. When you're occupying four people, two Titans, there's no way how, can, how it, that, that your, your team could still be losing, match. Because that, that would mean that all other five players of your team are somehow losing against three players of the enemy team. That can't be. It's not even possible. What, am I hidden? Hey, no. Yeah, now I'm playing a sniper titan. I'm not gonna go into brawling or something. Okay, I still have the reflector. Uh, he's regenerating his reflector there. Okay. He's going to activate his reflector. I'm gonna time him out through his reflector. Unfortunately, my titan friend is getting hit by another titan, so... Yeah, not really anything we can do at this point. But it, he is now push, getting pushed out. Nice. Okay. Is he coming in or is he not coming in? Okay, here we go. Extra damage activated. Oh, man. Oh, man, look at this. Dude, the other Ao Ming didn't stand a chance. Look what we did to him. Wow. Despite his healing and such. Now my team is somehow winning the match. What the heck? Now somehow my team has gotten all the beacons back. So uh, I take it back what I just said. My team is useful. They're good. They're doing well. I'm trying to drop him to last stand. Come on, guys, drop him to last stand already. And that is it. Nice. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nerf the drones, Pixonic. Yeah, the drones are the problem. The drones are what's destroying the game for me. I don't know about you guys, but for me, those drones ruin the game completely. There's so much less fun in the game now due to these stupid drones with the stupid shields, the stupid sh uh, cloaking unit. And this constant face shifting last stand, cloaking unit, shield, cloaking unit, last stand, shield, shield. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, so what else is there? Uh, oh, 
I was, uh, I, if I was playing a game with you, Manny, I would stay right by your side. Um, Natalie, uh, vi, Villa Pianto, Pana, uh, Villa Pana Pando. Uh, that's awesome, and uh, that, or, or, uh, that, that's appreciated, really. That would be cool. I mean, it's, it's always good when you see somebody really doing the team play. But something you you more often notice who's in the enemy team than you notice who's in your team, right? Because you see the enemy names because you're shooting at them, but you're not shooting at your guys. So chances are you don't even see who's with you, but you're seeing who you're against up against. Uh, but yeah, it's it's awesome when you uh, when you get some nice support and somebody gives you a healing. Uh, but it doesn't always happen. But every time it does happen, it's pretty cool. Agreed. Uh, but, but remember with the. Uh Hai Chi ex Exile, ex ex Exide, Exited, Concerned Observer. Are you saying like when the Hai Chi ended, what happened then? You know what, Des? Has some part tips from free-to-play player, Toby Sa Samion. Um, well, yeah, I mean, uh, there are certain setups for free-to-play players that are more useful than others. Uh, for example, the uh, a Griffin is more useful than a Rogatka or a Leo or most other things in the beginning, because it can jump, and that jump allows you to counter some things on the battlefield. Um, then also, the, the Falcon is a very powerful setup. The Falcon is a real beast. Um, because what it does... Hold on, here we go. Increased damage rolling in. Haha, <laughs> he face shifted. Uh, the Falcon only requires one weapon of yours to be leveled, right? Uh, you only have to level one heavy weapon if you get the pilot skill, um, traditional list on the Falcon. So the Falcon is a robot you can relatively well acquire. It's really easy acquired compared to some other setups in the game. Um, but it's so much, it's so effective already and very early on. You don't have to do a lot in order to make the, the Falcon really effective. Yeah, I knew it. I knew he was gonna come over to me now. He, it looked, at first it looked like he was gonna go for the beacon. Uh, and then it, he turned around and noticed, oh look, it's money gaming, so he, I, he might as well just destroy him. And that's what he does. I have no chance with this old uh, Ares there against, uh, against this setup. Wait, why is he not taking the damage amount he should be taking from this? I don't understand this. He should have taken a lot more damage from this. From those flamers. Um... But yeah, so uh, get yourself a Falcon, Tobias, and uh, and on top of the Falcon, get the first pilot skill to be traditionalist. Uh, you don't have to get more than than one pilot skill, but make sure to have one pilot skill, traditionalist. That will deactivate all three heavy weapons, and you only have one of them, the one in the middle. You can no longer jump, but what you can do is um, is get the uh, the thing here with. He's lagging so much. I cannot hit this person. I can't hit him! He just lags non-stop so much I can't hit him. It's just not possible. Look at this! He literally teleports around left and right. With this much lag! With this much lag, it's not playable. This game is literally unplayable with this much lag. All I had to do was stay in the shield and hit him. That's the easiest thing in the entire universe. I never fail at that. That's the easiest thing ever. I'm faster than him. So he cannot keep me out of his shield. The easiest thing in the universe. I am faster. He's slower. He's got a shield. I don't care because I'm faster and I just go in the shield. I couldn't because he was teleporting all over the place. So I just couldn't get inside that stupid shield. It is so annoying, man. This game is so annoying when he lags. It's unreal. I'm gonna make a uh, test right now. Hold on a second, guys. If it's me or if it's the game. I wanna know. I'm making a quick uh, test. Speed test right now. Uh, I know the upload is being used, but the ping. The ping is what it's all about. And it might be me. And I'm gonna phone my provider immediately. Yep. 93 ping. Normally, I have a latency. It's not even Warobot's fault. It's not even Warobot's fault, guys. Uh, because um, uh, it's my provider. Again. It's my provider again. I normally have a latency of 16 milliseconds or 15. And now I have a uh, latency of 93 or 100. 
that would be not a problem, but it indicates a problem, and the problem is the lags that I experience. So what just happened, the lags that make it impossible for me to beat the easiest enemy to beat? A freaking Demeter is not an enemy for me, that's a pushover. I just run through him as if it was nothing. With a flamethrower and the Orochi, his shields don't work against me, so he's easy to beat. It's not a problem, at all. But I couldn't beat him because he was teleporting for me due to the lag, and that is due to my internet connection right now. Uh, and uh, my provider is screwing up once again. Ever since I'm at Vodafone, everything goes to crap right now. I've moved to a different place a little while ago, half a year ago, for those who don't know. And uh, I, I was at, a, at an internet provider that went over a uh, thing, what's it called here? That goes over uh, the, the cable connection. And now I'm at a provider that uh, that is not using cable connection anymore, but is using uh, the, the normal DSL thing. And this Vodafone is a piece of garbage. It's the worst nonsense garbage I've ever seen, man. They can't provide a stable internet. They just can't. And this is the best package I could book here. Okay, I'm quantum radaring him. Wow, the, the duration of that last stand, man. Nice, we got him and we protected the beacon. Awesome. That Ares just did a good job. And whoever told me, whoever of you guys told me to get Quantum Radar, it paid off. The Quantum Radar just paid off. Yeah, he's gonna kill me now. Absolutely nothing I can do. Actually, wait a minute. Maybe he isn't. Maybe I'm gonna turn this around and I'm hitting him back. Wow. I was actually hitting him back quite a bit. He got me again, but he's taken he's taken down. Nice! Uh, he had the Typhon robot and he hit me pretty well. So, par guy, come on, come on over here, man. I'm gonna stay on you now. But you know what? It turns out there's multiple ones of the par dudes. Yeah. Okay, this is like, there's two of them, I think, in our squad. That's what's happening here. Trying to get the invader killed. Worked. Nice. I'm gonna try and stay at range, because that is my strength here, that I don't have to get close to the enemy. I got him locked, Act he activates that shield, and I'm gonna activate every weapon I have on him, with overdrive at the same time. Also, I think I suppressed him just then, yep. Yeah. Because I actually do have suppression weapons. I think he teleports onto that, yeah. Those guys are pretty powerful right there. Okay, got both of them down with the uh, with the laser here. And right before I could get into cover, I got destroyed, of course. Oh, that's right. I think you can't really deal for the reliable damage to these guys. And the lags are just out of control. But now at least I know it's not even War Robot's fault. It's the fault of my freaking provider. So that's good to know, guys. Why can I this this time? Look, this time I can hit the shell. Why can I hit him this time? Every other time I couldn't hit the shell. This time I could. Why? Why is it so unreliable? Sometimes you can do it, and sometimes you can't. This is weird. This guy's gonna start another flight ability in a second. Pretty sure he will. Down to last stand with him, which is good. Now he's coming up for a flight. I'm waiting out his last stand, then I'm doing this. And then we're just deleting the rest of him. I, I found a good spot here. Relatively safe. So, um... I'm suppressed for some reason, okay. 
Uh, Leo with two times, two times Magnum and Scatter and Avenger is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's uh, Leo is not not bad. I personally prefer the Griffin over the Leo though. Uh, but yeah, what I was gonna say, Benjamin, uh, there are setups that are more vol uh, uh, much cheaper and more powerful than others. And one of them is that the Falcon is a real, real secret tip. Uh, you only have to have level one heavy weapon when you have the traditionalist pilot skill. You, so you level one weapon, one robot, and you're good to go. And that's that's a really crazy thing about it. Yo, considering we're running the Ares for most of the time, you know the performance isn't bad, really. That Ares did, a, did an okay job. Did a pretty good job. Manny do 300% Thermite Behemoth. Um, I would do that, but the thing is now it's no more fun. Uh, for Aphid Vortex Thermite. They are no longer, they no, no longer exist in the game. In case you haven't noticed, every two seconds is a blue, yellow, purple, shield coming up, stealth is coming up, phase shift, last stand, all that. Every two seconds, there is no opportunity to deal damage anymore. And a robot setup, like Thermites, that require this perfect hit at a perfect situation. And you have to now make this hit between all these invincibilities? It's not possible anymore. Forget Aphid Vortex Thermite, they're deleted, they no longer exist in the game due to the drones. The drones and the quantum, uh, the quantum um, cloaking unit have completely de deleted those weapons. They no longer have their place in the game. They're, they're, they're gone. Bye. Uh, so, very sad, because those are my favorite weapons, right? So, hmm. Uh, Mr. Schla Fancy. Bye-bye, everyone, he says. Bye, dude. Have a good one, man. Hey, Manny, what's the best Scorpion build? By far, the uh, Sonic weapons. So, Havoc and Scatter. <clears throat> it's also the most boring and overpowered one, but it's the best one. And then, uh, uh, other than that, I think what's good, really good, really, really good, is the Flamethrowers. Uh, Blaze and, uh, and Ember. No, Blaze and Igniter. Very, very powerful. Hornet, Magneta, Hawk. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's fun to play. Warwas must change the name to Lag Robots. Nah, the legs in this case are actually my fault, but uh, I do know that the game does lag. Uh, so legs are in the game, but not like this bad as I have it right now. Hellburner with Nitro Unit. I haven't actually made a video about the Hellburner ever since it got buffed. Something I should probably still be doing. Uh, I would rather I would start with the Ares again because usually I get killed qu rather quickly So let's go and use the Ares first and then use something else later Somehow trying to get into firing range here first There's nothing that has stealth absolutely nothing not a single robot that has stealth Yeah, sorry, dude, I outrange you quite a bit This guy, however, is shooting back at me. Ah. Huh. Okay, I'm dropping him to last stand. That has worked nicely. The legs are, of course, very, very bad right now. Built-in weapons having some fun here. Nice. And then also getting this hawk destroyed. The Ares just killed two Hawks, guys. Two Hawks deleted by this one Ares. That's awesome, man. Why can I never lock down P uh, shells? Are they all, like, immune to lockdown somehow? What's what's going on here? There's an Aochun. But I have quantum sensor, so a quantum radar. So I can actually hit him. Okay, I think I managed to get this guy locked. No, I didn't. Apparently, I didn't. Nice! That has worked really well. Drone, do the thing! Do the thing, drone! Yes! What a good boy! Good boy, yes! <laughs> or good girl, rather. <laughs> good girl! Good drone, nicely done. This guy gets killed before he even enters flight, or what is this? Ooh, that was close. I got hit quite by a lot of laser beams here. He's trying to get back in safety. No, man. Not gonna work. Let's protect this guy from next to us here. Well, first got him there. Beyond godlike. Wow, so much for the dying fat. 
So much for dying fast with this uh, Ares, all right, right? That hasn't really come through. So here comes the enemy shell robot. I'm retreating into my team to make it impossible for him to reach me. Uh, thankfully, my team is face blocking him. Living legend! I can't believe this just happened, man. We got a living legend with this thing. Awesome, man. How th how, how could we? Th I did not think that was thing was gonna be that good again. He's leeching us. Stop firing for him. Let's wait for it. <clears throat> and he's going back in cover, isn't he? Yeah, he is. That is another hawk. Overdrive is running. But they're all in cover. The hawk is flying. I can suppress him. Oh, it's lagged so much. Ah. Okay, getting this guy in, in, in mid-flight with quantum radar. Oh, no, I'm losing weapons. No. I'm losing weapons now. He's out of range. He only has 350 meters range. Well, I have more, friends. Sorry. <laughs> Oh man, this guy is oh in the open. Bam 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 bam. Getting him killed. We are not winning the match here. We're not capturing beacons, but that's not the job of the Ares. The the Ares does not capture beacons anymore. It is just not that's just not happening. Double kill. Let's see if we can Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, man, I'm doing a lot of damage. Did you see how much damage I just did to that guy? That was insane. That that guy just lost so much health instantly. All right, let's go and shoot ourselves some titans, okay? Uh, jump. Here we go. Here we go. Boom, I got shoved away by the Arthur. Whoa, what? Dude, this again, this was an example of lag right there. I had f almost full health in one second, and I has still had all my stealths. I had almost full health there, and then I got suddenly I was dead. Wow. Because the, the lags were so hard that it didn't actually show me how I got destroyed. Alright, doing some nice damage here, staying safe, capturing the beacon at the same time. I got the beacon here. Uh oh, I have no more abilities here. There we go, now I have another ability use. Okay, I'm still on the beacon and making sure he can't capture it right now. Still on the beacon. Dealing massive damage to the Ao 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 Ming up there. Nice. And then I die, of course, but it's okay, because I think I've done my job. Now I can spawn this Titan here as well. Got him. Okay. Him too. Nice. So now I think we're we're getting somewhere. Down to last time with a guy and now shifting him. He should be able to get rid of this guy, right? What? Oh, I'm suppressed. That's why I'm not dealing damage right now. Wow. Okay, how long was that suppression going? Alright, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are reaching the end of the live stream now. Oh, yeah, perfect timing. Wow. Second crash.
But you know what, guys? That's okay. I'm not actually going to leave it like that. Uh, almost full two hours. So I hope you guys had some fun watching. I want to say thank you for all of you who have been here watching, commenting. Also, for those of you who gave the live stream a like, right? And uh, Or even for those who did it later in On Demand. Ignite Walker says, uh, sends a tenor here again. I propose that Warbots should do... Uh, an all titan skirmish imagine how the match would look like with everyone using titans and funny would be to play it would be non-stop look yeah i think that would be an interesting idea i don't know why they haven't done this yet maybe it's not possible to add six titans or maybe it is no i'm pretty sure it is possible when they can make giant jumping schutze robot spiders and uh, spider squishers um they can do it they should do it so let's leave it as that ladies and gents thank you for for being here for dropping likes dropping comments for just watching silently if you did that for those who donated appreciate every single one of you guys it's awesome with you and uh, i don't want to be without you guys anymore so hold on ha hold, have a good one nice day night whatever it is for you we'll see each other and don't forget about oops uh don't forget about the um uh, the t-shirts i wanted to show you the t-shirts but i can so yeah see you guys then bye bye